I think it's going to go down incredibly well. Elton has been one of the highly anticipated performers for Glastonbury for so long. He's been one of those people that everyone wants to perform at Glastonbury. And already people are saying that he is the best performer or headliner on the Pyramid stage of all time. I couldn't agree more. You know, he came out with all his classics, Your Song, Tiny Dancer, Rocket Man. And he had an amazing set of guests as well. He was in his gold suit. And I just think all the crowds loved it. I mean, it goes to show 100 20,000 people there and then I think it was 7.7 .7 million at home watching. Elton has always been an icon and given the fact that it's also his last UK performance while he's touring um, I just think it's it's yeah absolutely iconic. I think they absolutely did deliver. He was joined by so many big names on the stage. We had Stephen Sanchez, Brandon Flowers, Jacob Lust, um, Rina Sawayama. So he had some amazing people on stage with him. And, you know, he had some big, big names watching him as well. He had Paul McCartney, the Spice Girls. He had celebrities from all around the world. And I think they really did deliver and the show was incredible. But it was actually really sad not to see um, some of the people that he performed his big hits with, like Dua Lipa and Britney Spears. And we saw that Dua Lipa was actually at a family meal in New York um, uh, so she appeared on Instagram um, enjoying family meal with friends and I think a lot of people were quite confused by that um, so she has had a lot of backlash from fans saying you know this is a huge gig why were you not there to perform with Elton so that was a bit strange Britney I think it would have been incredibly rare to see Britney appear on stage and then there were also rumours that obviously Dolly Parton was going to appear but they sadly proved false he obviously gave that tribute as well didn't he to, uh, to George Michael with Candle in the Wind um, and we had some amazing moments uh, especially with Brandon Flowers but Brandon I think as well confused fans because he had a very different appearance um, and a lot of people in the audience were comparing him to Jimmy Carr the comedian um, so I think even though that was amazing you know obviously he's the front man of the killers I think it did surprise a lot of people to see him as he was last night. So we had Andrew Garfield, the Spice Girls, Cara Delevingne, Anya Taylor-Joy, huge names in the crowds and at the side of the stage, obviously David Walliams and his partner David Furnish. So we had some really big names there watching Elton from all around the uh, showbiz circles and some of his close friends. And they then would have gone on to join in with the after party afterwards. But we don't know too many details about it yet, but they will emerge. Mark this space. I think they would have just partied all night it's Glastonbury um off the back of such an amazing set I'm sure they had such a good time for Elton he has said that touring wise I think you know he's older now and I think the touring days are over that's not to say that he won't perform again he specifically said that he will perform again he's got um a show coming up at the 2023 Emmy promotion in Los Angeles but Elton's got you know his partner David Furnish and they've got two young children and he's said in interviews before that it is absolutely exhausting for him obviously he's an older man now so it's exhausting for him to to do these huge tours where there's a lot going on so he said that he wants to focus more on family and I think because of that I think his touring days sadly are over but I think we will still see him perform in various places